teaching equality, for one is your Father in heaven. You have a fleshly Father according to the flesh, but the Father in heaven is your spiritual Father. The priest is not a Father. Incidentally, the word Pope means Father. Rabbi means Master. Jesus says, for one is your Master, even Christ, and you are all brethren. He further added, call no man Lord. Did you know that the word Monseigneur is nothing but the word Lord? In addition to the conclusive evidence that has been given, the very character and morals of many popes would tend to identify them as successors of pagan representatives rather than representatives of Christ or even Peter. Some of the popes were so depraved and based on their actions, even people who professed no religion at all were ashamed of them. Examine Pope Sergius III's life in the year 904 AD who obtained the papal office by murder. The annals of the Church of Rome tell about his life of open sin with Marosia who bore him several illegitimate children. Now he was described by other priests as a monster, a terrorizing criminal. Historians say that for seven years this man occupied the chair of St. Peter while his concubine and his mother held court with a pomp of voluptuousness that recalls the worst days of the ancient empire. Now in Haley's Bible handbook it also confirms this by saying this woman, Theodoria, likened unto Semiramis because of her bad morals, along with Marosia, the Pope's concubine, filled the papal chair with their paramount bastard sons and turned the papal chair into a den of robbers. Now, my friends, let's go to the Jesuit Catholic book called The Popes, as he admits to all of this, but he says it all happened before he was Pope. Yet one thing's clear in this book, he does admit to the fact that the next successing Pope was John, his son. His name, Pope John X, who originally had been sent to Ravenna as Archbishop, but Theodora had him returned to Rome and appointed to the papal office. According to the Bishop Lutprandt of Cremona, who wrote a history about 50 years after this time, adds that Theodora supported John's election in order to cover more of her illicit relationships with him. His reign came to a sudden end when Marosia smothered him to death. Now, not long after this, her teenage son, under the name of John XI, became the Pope. Catholic Encyclopedia says, some taking Lutprand, that is the historian writer, and the Liber Pontificalis as their authority, assert that he was the natural son of Sergius III, a former Pope. Now, through the intrigue of his mother, who ruled at the time in Rome, he was raised to the papal chair. In volume 8, page 426. Now, John John was murdered in 928, and his two sons, Leo XI and Stephen VIII, were also murdered. In 931, Marozia's son by Sergius became Pope at the age of 25. He became known as John XI, admitted right within Catholic writings. Now, in quarreling with some of his mother's enemy, he was beaten and put into jail where he died from poisoning. Yet, in 955, the grandson of Marozia, at the age of 18 years of age, became Pope under the name of John the Twelfth. The Catholic Encyclopedia describes him as a coarse, immoral man whose life was such that the Lateran was spoken of as a brothel, and the moral corruption in Rome became the subject of general odium. Now, on the 6th of November, a synod composed of 50 Italian and German bishops were counseled in St. Peter's. John was accused of sacrilege, perjury, murder, adultery, and incest, and was summoned in writing to defend himself. Re refusing to recognize the synod, John pronounced a sentence of excommunication against all anticipators in the assembly. And should they elect in his stead another pope, John XII took bloody vengeance on the leaders of the opposite party. Now Cardinal Deacon, well John had his right hand struck off, and Bishop Otgart of Speyer was scourged, and some officials lost noses and ears. John died on the 
14th of May, eight days after he had been, according to rumor, stricken with paralysis. In the Catholic Encyclopedia, Volume 8, page 426. Our next pope, Pope Boniface VII. Well, he maintained his position through a lavish distribution of stolen money. The Bishop of Orleans referred to him as also John VII and Leo VIII as monsters of guilt, reeking in a blood and filthy bath as antichrists sitting in the temple of God. Well, the Catholic Encyclopedia says that he was overpowered by John the Ninth, April 984, who thrust him into a dungeon in St. Angelo, where the wretched man died four months later. For more than a year, Rome endured this monster, steeped in the blood of his predecessors. But the vengeance was terrible, because after his sudden death in July of 985, the body of Boniface was exposed to insult in front of the public. His body was dragged through the street cities and finally naked and covered with wounds flung over the statue of Marcus Aurelia. The following morning, compassionate clerics removed the corpse and gave it a Christian burial. In the Catholic Encyclopedia, Volume 2, page 661. Now in conflict with the cardinals and kings, numerous charges were brought against this pope, Pope Boniface VIII of the 13th century. Not 500 years ago, the Catholic Encyclopedia says scarcely any possible crime was omitted. Infidelity, heresies, immorality, idolatry, magic, lost of the Holy Land, simony, gross and unnatural immorality, and the death of another pope. Protestant historians generally and even modern Catholic writers class him amongst the wickedest pope and as an ambitious, haughty and unrelenting man, deceitful, also and treacherous. His whole pontificate is one record of evil. Yet, and this sounds almost unbelievable, it was this pope that in the year 1302 AD issued the well-known Unam Sanctum, which officially declares that the Roman Catholic Church is the only true church outside of which no one can be saved. And he said, we therefore assert, define and pronounce that it is necessary to salvation to believe that every human being is subject to the pontiff of Rome. Now because there have been sinful popes and being subject to the Pope has raised questions, should a sinful Pope still be obeyed? Well, let the Catholic Encyclopedia answer this. A sinful Pope remains a member of the visible church and is to be treated as sinful, unjust, and to whom we must pray, but from whom we may not withdraw our obedience. Volume 4, page 435. Almost unbelievable. Now, having mentioned the gross immorality that existed in the lives of some popes, I don't want to say it and leave the impression that they were all bad. Now, we do believe this evidence seriously weakens the doctrine of the apostolic succession, that the claim that the Roman Catholic makes is the only true church because it can trace a line back to Peter. Now, is it really an important point? If so, each of these popes, even those who were known to be immoral and cruel, must be included. There is even a possibility of a woman pope. But salvation, my friend, isn't depending upon a tracing line of popes right back to Peter, or even a system of religions claiming to represent Christ. Salvation is found in Christ himself. Now, are popes infallible? Well, adding to the many contradictions with which the Romish system has already been plagued, there were popes like the goddess Janus of old times who began to make claims that they were infallible, that they didn't make mistakes. People naturally questioned how infallibility could be linked with the papal office when some of the popes had been poor examples of moral integrity. And if infallibility be applied only to doctrines pronounced by the pope, how is it that that some popes disagreed with other popes. Even a numerous number of popes, including Berelinius, Innocent III, Clement IV, Gregory VI, and Paul VI, rejected the doctrine of papal infallibility. Now, the Vatican Council of 1870 sought to narrow the meaning of infallibility down to a workable definition. It said that the Roman pontiff, when speaking ex cathedra, that is, when in exercising his office as pastor and teacher to the Christian, and defines certain doctrines within the church, they are to be infallible. And